Students going to school at Northwest High this morning got quite the surprise. A mock accident between vehicles closely resembling those belonging to two Northwest students was staged at the intersection of Highway 2 and North Road. In the mock accident, a Buick LeSabre driven by distracted driver Alex Stoker hit a Jeep Grand Cherokee driven by fellow student Megan Billington. The police department and ambulance service were in on the act, making passers-by think it was the real thing. I was distracted driving and I was changing the radio station and the next thing I knew Megan came out of nowhere and I just hit her and we both ended up in the ditch. I was behind it all when it started getting this going for our students. It's to stop and raise awareness for distracted driving amongst teen drivers anything from texting and driving to changing the radio station or reaching for their backpack as it, as it falls off the seat. A lot of kids do that kind of thing on a daily basis and they don't realize the um, dangers of doing that kind of stuff on the road, especially when they don't have the experience behind the wheel. We are going classroom to classroom and we're taking out about 15 kids from classrooms through all four grade levels and we are taking them aside to read a note and it explains how they died and how soon they died. Once they get done reading that, they're marked with a white cloth, which then symbolizes them being dead. For the rest of the day, they're not supposed to talk to their peers or explain what is happening. I'm one of three girls who are playing the Grim Reaper today. We were switching off so then we don't have to miss a full day of school, so we're kind of equaling out the workload so then we can get it all done. When you first walk into the room, they kind of freak out at first because they don't know you're coming. But then after a while, they know what it's about, and the person who gets picked is kind of disappointed at first because then they know they can't talk for the rest of the day. But they know it's for a good cause, so they're pretty good sports about it. Well, we had a mock death for 20 students in our class. 20 of them were pretending to be dead by not talking or interacting with anybody in any way. I was one of them. It was very difficult. I mean, you get in your group of friends and you just sit there. The teachers were ignoring you too. They were in on it. It was difficult. I really had no idea what was going on because I was in first period and, you know, just doing my assignment and I see a Grim Reaper walk in and I didn't know what to do. I was wondering why was someone in a Grim Reaper suit and then he points, points at me, walks up to me, grabs me by the arm and just walks away, pulling me with her and I was like, okay. Left all my stuff in the classroom and just without warning. I think it was a good lesson because other people at first, they didn't really, they didn't get it at first but then when they were explained it taught them like, wow, if you really weren't here it'd be so much different. I think the thing that caught my attention was how quickly the kids got on Twitter and, and how they got on Facebook. And I, my daughter was chosen to be one of the, the kids that was killed from an accident. And it just made me start to think about how, if it was her that was actually killed, that I wouldn't want to hear it on Facebook and I would not want to hear it on, on Twitter. And that's what the kids were doing today is they were, even though they knew it was a joke, they were, they were putting things on there. And as a parent, if that's the way I found out that my child had died, I would just, it would, it would be horrible enough, but that would just make it even worse. My daughter and I actually, we drove up to it on Highway 2 and and I kind of had an idea about it. And then, you know, school started and, uh, you know, people kind of went about their day, but then other people had been posting things about it and, and talking about it. And it just amazes me how sometimes social media can be used for good, but sometimes it's just used for, for evil. And I thought that would be a horrible, horrible way to find out that my daughter had died. Mm -hmm.